Well, you may have noticed it always seems hotter downtown with all those tall buildings. And there is a reason for that. It's called the urban heat island effect. ABC 10 meteorologist Brendan Minchiff explains it has a big impact. So the urban heat island is basically referring to the phenomenon where the way that we build our cities can actually make the air around us hotter. It can trap in heat. Caitlin Trudeau is a climate scientist with Climate Central, the team who published the most recent urban heat island study. And she lives in Sacramento, so she's also experiencing this heat firsthand. There's about two thirds of Sacramento's population lives in an area where the urban heat island effect makes it eight degrees Fahrenheit warmer than it would be if the city was built differently. Um, so it's it's a lot of heat we're talking about. <laughs> it's not just a couple of degrees warmer, it's we're talking about eight degrees Fahrenheit warmer. The warmest parts of the city where we're seeing most of this is actually in the downtown area. So you can think of it as like the Golden One Center area, the surrounding areas, even where the capital is. Other hot spots in the Sacramento area include the Natomas Shopping Center at I-80 and I-5, as well as the Harbor Boulevard area in West Sac. Dark surfaces with little green space, like parking lots and industrial centers, trap the daytime heat in and release it overnight. It's a problem because it's exposing a lot more people to serious heat-related diseases and illnesses. Um, it's making it a lot harder for people to withstand these big heat waves that we have. Also, it's really hard for people who are unhoused, you know? Um, it's something that I think a lot of people kind of miss about this story, um, but something that's becoming unfortunately more common is the toll that it takes on people who don't have homes and who are stuck out in this heat. Since we can't just start from scratch and rebuild cities, reducing the impacts of the urban heat island requires careful planning and modification of existing city infrastructure. There are things that we can do. Um, you know, things like planting more trees, Rooftop gardens, rooftop green spaces, painting the roofs white. So white will actually reflect the incoming solar radiation. So if we do more of that, um, and then also just thinking more, um, thinking more deeply about the way that we build our cities. Yeah, some food for thought, Brendan, thank you. So when we wanna get away to Folsom or Tahoe during those really hot summer days, it really does make a difference.